Part one that we are talking here is about hallelujah, salvation is a great inclusive word of the gospel. So this is the good news. So why we are not ashamed? Because this is a power of God unto salvation. So, hindi po natin ikinahihiya na magbahagi po ng salita ng Diyos sapagkat sa pamamagitan ng pagbabahagi po ng salita ng ating Panginoon, hallelujah, kung maiintindan lamang po natin ang salita po ng ating Panginoon, or maiintindan lamang po natin ang natutungkulan ng salita po ng ating Panginoon, ito po'y patungkol po sa ating kaligtasan. Sa papaanong sinasabi mong kaligtasan, ang tao po ay mayroon hangganan. Okay? Ang, dala, ang tao po ay may dalawang patutunguhan. Langit po'y impyerno lamang. Okay? There are two kinds of destination of man. Hill or heaven. Now, if you obey to the word of God, if you obey to the word of God, there is heaven, hallelujah, waiting for you. And if you don't want to obey the word of God, there is a hill waiting for you. So, God gave us a free will to choose which one to obey and which way you want to go. Okay? So there are uh, two kinds of choices that we must to do. If you obey to the word of God, there is heaven. But if you don't want to obey the word of God, there is a hell. So the choice is yours. The choice is ours. Okay? Praise God. Only we can do is to share the word of God. If we not believe, it's okay. If believe, that's good. So that's why Paul mentioned here that he is not ashamed. He is not ashamed to share to the gospel to every believer, to every uh, humankind, or to every uh, colors, whatever colors you have, He don't care about your nationality, your colors. He cares for your soul. That's why Paul writes this kind of message to us. Because Jesus, He cares for you and for me. If Jesus Christ is not care for us, no need to come to save you. But because of His love, and care for your soul, He hung on the cross of Calvary to redeem you and to have salvation to the eternal salvation, eternal damnation. So that's why until now, He's continued sharing the Word of God to everybody, to remind everybody that there are two kinds of destination of man. There is, there's a hell or heaven. Now the choices that you made is up to you. How you obey to the commandments of God. So here we go. We're going in second part. The second part that we have is salvation is received by man. Ang kaligtasan po ay natanggap po ng isang tao. Huh? Ang kaligtasan po na ibinigay ng ating pong Panginoong Isu Christ. Yan po ay dapat matanggap ng isang tao. Upang hindi po mawala ng kabuluhan ang ginawa po ng ating Panginoong Isu Christ. Doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Okay? Sunod? In the last unit, we study God's part in providing salvation. No? 
Praise God. In this unit, we shall study man's part in receiving salvation. What God did for man in providing salvation is found in the four Gospels. Okay? Ano pong ginawa ng Diyos para sa tao? God provide the way of salvation. And only we can find it in the four Gospels of Jesus Christ. What man has to do in receiving salvation Anong gagawin ng isang tao upang matanggap niya ang kaligtasan na inaalok o ibinibigay po ng ating Panginoong Kristo? Matatagpuan natin yan. He said, salvation is found in the book of Acts chapter 2 reading from verse 38 that says, Then Peter said, unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So this is the requirements that a man should to obey. Okay? What a man has to do in receiving salvation. Salvation we will found in Acts chapter 2, reading from verse 28 or 38, I mean. Praise God. It took death, burial, and resurrection on the part of Christ to provide salvation. See? So this is the plan of God. The plan of God is to save us and to give us good life and to spare us to the eternal damnation. So this is the part of Jesus Christ. So we have part that we need to do. What we need to do is to accept the plan of the salvation. Salvation, excuse me, salvation is a gift from God or gift from Jesus Christ, amen. Salvation is a gift and only we can do is to obey and follow or obey to the word of God, okay? Praise God. So that's the part one and part two or letter A and letter B. Now we're going to letter C or number three. Praise God. Number three is talking about salvation is from Jesus Christ alone. If we read it in the book of Genesis, chapter 3, reading from verse 10, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed, and he said, It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. If we go back in Old Testament, in chapter 3, praise God, when Adam and Eve committed sin in the sight of God through eating of the fruit of the, uh, 
the fruit of the tree of the garden of Eden when they eat it that kind of fruit and the curse or they open their uh, eyes okay and after they open the eyes praise God hallelujah they know that they are naked because the the touch or the eat the forbidden fruit in the midst of the garden of Eden and this is the the consequence of the wrongdoing in the sight of God but not end no but God also declare the plan of the salvation of the coming of the Savior of Jesus Christ when when the Eve Adam disobeyed the commandment of God they have consequence the consequence okay the consequence of the uh, wrongdoing is uh, they are suffering of bitterness yung mga anak sila na may kahirapan at ang lalaki dahil siya uh, sumunod sa kanyang uh, asawang babae there is also a curse na siya po ay uh, kumbaga ang sumpa kay Adan siya po ay maghahanap buhay at ang bawat kakainin niya ay paghihirapan niya so this is this is the consequence of Adam and Eve. No? Na mga nganak si Eva na may kahirapan, ang lalaki ay magtatrabaho at kakain siya sa, pina, sa pinaghirapan niya. And after that uh, that curse, uh, the snake also was uh, uh, kumbaga, siya ay lalakad ng alikabuk abang siya nabubuhay. At ito naman ay, this is the promise of God, and I will put in meeting between the me, uh, between thee and the woman, and between thy seed, and after his seed, shall burst thy head, and thou shall burst itself. So this is the, prop, uh, this is the, uh, uh, Genesis 3.15, this is a, uh, announcement of the coming of the Savior, and that is Jesus Christ that he will come okay to save all you humankind through the uh, through the son Jesus Christ okay to the birth of, of a virgin okay and we know already that kind of story praise God so this is the promise of God that uh, after the he committed sin and saved God. Uh, God provide also the plan of the salvation for every human kind. And that uh, uh, promise was already fulfilled in the New Testament. And that is Jesus Christ who died at the cross of Calvary to redeem us from all unrighteousness and our sin. Romans, uh, look chapter 19 reading from verse 10 for the son of man is come to seek and to see that which was lost so ang sabi niya rito no, according in Luke chapter 9 reading from verse 10 sapagkat na parito ang anak ng tao pang ikailigtas at hanapin bakit kumarito ang anak ng tao sino daw pumunta rito walang iba kundi ang ating Panginoong Isu Kristo upang tayo'y hanapin at iligtas saan sa tinatawag na walang hanggang kapahamakan sa impierno for the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost Romans 6 reading from verse 23 for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ 
Ngunit ang kabayaran ng kasalanan ay kamatayan. Ngunit ang kaloob na walang bayad ng Diyos ay buhay na walang hanggan mula kay Kristo Jesus na Panginoon natin. Oh? So this is, hallelujah, the wages of their sin that they are doing and the sign of God. Okay? Ang kabayaran daw ng kasalanan ay kamatayan. So that's the law of this word. Okay? This is the law of the land. If you kill some, you kill also. That's the law. But in the law of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, or the gift of Jesus Christ is eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 4, reading from verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven giving among men whereby we must be saved. So, patungkol po sa ating kaligtasan, hallelujah, tayo po'y maliligtas sa pamamagitan po ng pangalan ng ating pong Panginoong Isokristo. Because the Bible tells us, at sa kanino mang iba, ay walang kaligtasan sapagkat walang ibang pangalan sa silong ng langit na ibinigay sa mga tao na sukat nating ikaliligtas. From the scriptures, we know that as, as soon as man seen God announced his great plan of salvation, salvation is a gift of God and there is a salvation is none other than Jesus Christ. So wala na pong ibang kaligtasan Hallelujah, na ating pong matatagpuan, kundi sa pangalan lamang po ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. So kung naghahanap tayo ng kaligtasan, matatagpuan natin yan ang kaligtasan. Walang iba kundi sa pangalan ng ating pong Panginoong Heso Kristo. Because there is no salvation in any other giving under heaven giving among men whereby we must be saved. So, we know already that the wages of sin is death. Okay? Ang kabayaran ng kasalanan ay kamatay. That's the law of the land. But the law of God is good, merciful, and gracious to every one of us. When man committed sin, he did not death on the spot, but rather he gave him a second chance. Okay? How blessed and how merciful God he is in our life. That even though we are sinful men, even though we are all sinners, but because of the love of Jesus Christ, He saved us and He gave His life for us to ransom us from eternal damnation into salvation. This is the good news that God wants to reveal to everyone of us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
the salvation of God is already open to those who want, to those who believe, and to those who want to obey the word of God. The salvation is open to every person. Salvation is open now if you want to enter into the kingdom of God. Salvation is open now. Salvation is already purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. Only we can do is to have faith and obey through the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So this is the good news. Hallelujah. That God wants us to share tonight through the salvation through his word through the word of god hallelujah the word of god was we need to obey hallelujah praise god praise the lord hallelujah blessed be the name blessed be the name blessed be the name of the lord because his greatness and his faithfulness to our life. Hallelujah. Why we are still standing tonight? Because God is a merciful God. God is good. Hallelujah. He never changes in our life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lord God Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for the word that we hear. Praise God tonight. Hallelujah. The plan of the salvation to everyone. Salvation is the great inclusive word of the gospel. Salvation is received by men. Praise God. Hallelujah. Salvation is from Jesus Christ alone. Ang kaligtasan ay mula lamang 